Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store. I'm just going to simply call it Industrial Set Version 2. Uh, although the actual title does say for RPG, FPS, game assets for PC slash mobile. Now, I'm going to point out here as well that, yes, it may just say RPG and FPS. However, most assets can be used for almost anything. And this package can actually be used for pretty much anything as long as you think this style would fit into your game. So what does the pack contain? Well, it has a demo scene. I love demo scenes. You know I love demo scenes. And the overall quality of it, I would say, is pretty decent. I don't think it's the best quality, but then again, this is free. So free, yes, this is really, really good quality. Uh, also worth noting that there are a couple of different other versions of it, uh, version 3, version 4, and they are paid for as well. So you could think of this as a free, maybe a, a demo. Uh, I'm not sure how long it has been free. I'm not sure how long it will be free because don't forget prices do change all the time. So price wise, yes, it is free. Going back to quality, I think it's a fairly decent uh, actual asset. I mean, you could take this and you could probably prototype your game just using this asset. So if you've got an idea and you just want to see it visually to create, then yes, this is really, really nice. Um, the scene itself didn't actually contain a camera or any um, playable character, nothing like that. So I've just added in uh, a camera and I've added in some post-processing as well, just to give it a little sense of something else, just to see how much it could change and what we could do with it. Obviously, different post-processing profiles have different effects on the scene. So I guess it's all down to your personal preference. Uh, Quantity-wise, there is a lot to deal with in this asset. We can see just by looking at this scene here that there is loads and loads and loads to see. You know, we could just take this little hanger, the, that side of it, that's, you know, this side of it, it's up to you. You could split that out, take it as one whole object. Uh, down below in the assets folder, we've got all the different assets uh, individually, so we can use them quite nicely. So for example, even if you don't want to use everything here, but you just want a couple of wooden boxes, you may find that useful. So you could just import those wooden boxes from that asset. Here you've got dumpsters, fences, oil tanks. It's cool. Look at that. I think that's really, really neat. I love assets that have a lot of content to it. And yes, although looking at the Asset Store page, you would expect to get all of that anyway, it's just nice to actually know that that picture there isn't uh, a representation of what could be. It is an actual of what could be. And that is good because we get all of that in our package. Versatility, yep, obviously very versatile. As I said, all of these assets are individual, so we can take little pieces here and there. Uh, it's somewhat modular, as we can see, because we can kind of use these sets here, there, and build our own area. We don't have to be restricted to this particular area, so we can build up our own using various pieces of road, various pieces of uh, scenery, buildings, whatever you like. Obviously, pre-made scene is uh, a representation of what you could do if you wanted to. And as I said, prototyping, yeah, the scene's going to be great for you if you're just prototyping. Extras. Um, I don't think there's too much in the way of extras. You, you get what you see here. I think it's very um, dynamic in what we get. For example, we expect to get all of this, so we wouldn't expect uh, anything else you've got to think of it that way you wouldn't expect tons of scripts or anything like that if we did get them that's awesome uh, but yeah overall don't worry about it uh, there's plenty enough here to even worry about extra so no no extras in that sense um folders are neatly laid out which is always good because it's easy to find things then easily searchable they have sensible names as said earlier, the usefulness of this is astronomical because you can use different sections of this for various different games. For example, you could be making a medieval style RPG. You'll actually find something here, coming back to these wooden boxes again. They'll be useful in that style. Even the fences. You might be able to find something here for something post-apocalyptic if you wanted to. So yeah, usefulness is... You know, it's limitless, I guess. It's all just down to your own imagination. 
Customizable? Yep, of course it is. You could do anything. I think most assets are customizable to a great degree. You could take this and just change the shader if you wanted to. What, I mean, why you'd want to, I don't know, but maybe you want your own personal shader. You've written your own shader and want to use that. Just go to standard, I guess, if you want to. Uh, customizable to the extent of, yeah, you can change the color of it. So let's have that as red, because why not? Maybe you're creating a very red game. Um, overall, I think it's a really, really good asset. Uh, the package size is only 144 meg. Uh, it's not huge, but obviously it's not tiny. So yes, although it says it's for mobile games, just still be mindful of that total file size. Um, so as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. Yeah, I think I'd recommend this probably to most people. Uh, whether you're a beginner or whether you are experienced with Unity, simply because there's something here for everybody. And if you are new to Unity, like I said, this is a great way to create a simple world to prototype your game. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this package. Uh, so guys, uh, let me know, have you used this asset package? And if you have, what do you think of it? Uh, whether you like it or don't like it, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've got anything on the asset store yourself, if you're a developer, please let me know because I'd love to take a look at it. And don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything about game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.